Dr. Reddy was a man who trained in the United States at Howard University Hospital, specialized in surgery, was working in the United States, and decided that he would go back to India and be reestablished. So he went to India, started his Apollo Hospital, like think in Madras was the first place he started, and uh, combined not only his knowledge and his skills as a surgeon, but his instincts as a businessman, and very quickly brought in managers, and uh, both financial and uh, management uh, people, who helped him build the largest chain of hospitals probably in the world today. I was privileged to have visited two of his hospitals as uh, on a routine visit, and they've been very impressed that quite apart from offering hospital and medical services, they now have consultancies. Now, here in Nigeria, we have our own challenges, and uh, we all know high population, huge disease burden, uh, and challenges with the public health sector, and also in service delivery. Our problems are clear. Number one, we need more people with specialties, uh, we need more equipment, we need more infrastructure. Now, how are we going to obtain all these? How do we bring them together to be able to deliver service to the majority of Nigerians? It is known that between one, or estimated that between one and two billion dollars, the exact estimate is not clear, is lost annually. I say lost because it disappears from our economy to, in, to India and other countries in treatment. A lot of this treatment is what can be done here. A lot of it. Some of it is just treatment that is not necessary, that you don't have to go abroad for. There are terminal cases, end cases, cases that get to India and they tell you, oh, sorry, there is nothing you can do, you can go back. So we are losing a lot of money. And the cost of that is, to a large extent, loss of confidence in the health sector. And that comes to the fact that service delivery is poor. Even where you have equipment, you have infrastructure, you have highly trained manpower. And I can tell you from my experience, that I have seen some very highly trained doctors here who are very skillful, very knowledgeable, and who know their business. I've also seen hospitals which are very well equipped, very, very clean, and then where uh, still, in spite of all of that, people will not go. Why? I'm talking about public hospitals. Why? Because there is no confidence. And in some places where you have the private hospitals, well, they have management acumen, there is, uh, but they can't usually raise the money to carry out the necessary investment, the investment in business. Events like this help to bring out this combination of medicine and business. Today I was talking with a group of uh, investors in medicine this morning from Lebanon who were trying to bring up this idea of building a hospital. And I asked them about their experience, and they said, oh, yes, they built, uh, uh, they got uh, contracts to build, uh, upgrade two hospitals. I will not mention the hospitals. One of them is, in fact, both of them are public government-owned hospitals. How they, through the donation of an oil company, they built the state-of-the-art in, uh, uh, intensive care unit. What millions of dollars, state of the art, full, everything high end to use their own expression. And uh, by the time they finished and handed it over to the hospital, uh, three months later they came back to see uh, what had become of their work and the place was shut down, two beds were missing, uh, the roof was leaking, the monitors were not working, and the place was a desolate and they were very sad. The other one was a donation to build the diagnostic center, the MRI and everything which was built. After a year, they went there, the place was under lock and key. Those of you who are from Lagos might know where exactly what I'm talking about, which institution. So you see that here, there is a problem with management, a problem with uh, realizing values, and of course in the public sector, a problem with attitude. 
contribution you are making here to the health sector is enormous and, and must be well recognized. In the public sector today, we are looking at how to finance healthcare, particularly even primary healthcare. Uh, there has been a lot of, uh, you can either put a lot of uh, emphasis on raising funds and um, put a lot of emphasis on, on how to uh, put the money there. But again, it must be matched equally hand in hand by how you are going to spend the money and how you are going to spend it sensibly and also be able to, in, if possible, recoup your expenditure. And uh, the, uh, even the primary health care center, uh, primary health care system that we are trying to talk about today, see how the challenges of how you are going to keep sustainability and, and need a, a, from a, events like this, the ideas that come out of this will help to uh, find models that will work either using the uh, national health insurance system, the state health insurance system, community health insurance system, donor finances and business inputs to create uh, uh, systems that will function both in uh, tertiary healthcare and in uh, primary healthcare delivery.